we are going down to take you with us down on a little trip down to Bath because I want to tell you a very, very sad story. So this is the Dolly Tub Laundrette here in Bath. This was a place that when I was 20 years old, this place changed my life. So I'm here because uh, for two reasons, really. One, I want to come and uh, pay my respects. And also just give thanks because uh, while I was here, I pretty much had my life saved. So let me tell you the story. We came here when I was 20 years old to uh, fix their boiler for Pottersons. I don't know if you remember, I told you I worked for Pottersons on the commercial boilers. Down in the basement of this building is a big ISIS boiler. I came here with my boss, Ray, who was uh, 39 at the time. And we were down in the basement, probably down through there, somewhere like that. It was very dark. And uh, Ray found a lead lamp in a cupboard. So he said, oh, I know. And being sparky, he decided that we could do uh, a, a bit of a bodge with the wires. Well, to cut a long story short, just before this horrible thing happened, Ray said to me, step out onto a little step. He said, I don't want you in this water. We were about five inches deep in water by this time. And the lead lamp that Ray plugged in gave him an electric shock, which is quite horrific. He also lifted a half ton boiler section up in the air. And this is where it was. But because of him say, get, telling me to step up on this step, he saved my life because I would have been in the water with him and uh, we would have both died. But unfortunately, I couldn't save him. We had an ambulance and inquests and all the rest of it. And I've never been back, but I just wanted to come here and, and pay my respects to Raymond. I say, Ray, 39 when he died, young family terrible it was it was it just changed me completely made me scared of electrics for a long time i just thought i'd share that with you while we came down to this historic place but i better go because uh lorna's panicking that we're going to get fined it's in a very affluent part of bath this as bath is a very affluent place isn't it you can tell by all the old regency buildings must have been a uh, the place to be sort of thing so anyway yeah so that was the story of why I wanted to come to Bath I'm just out looking around Bath because you can't get anywhere near the city centre there's too many people I've got to bring you down and show you this lock. Well, we're pretty bad YouTubers, us. We're giving up. Bath is an absolute nightmare. Google Maps has no idea where it is. <laughs> Telling us to go up all these little roads and all that. So, we, yeah, we're giving up. We wouldn't be able to go anywhere with a dog anyway, so, and it's hot and frustrating, and I don't want it to spoil the day, so we're gonna find out somewhere else to go. So, who knows? We finally made it to Wookie Hole the village, not the caves. Well, we are in the cave car park and uh, we're gonna go and see where my dad was stationed and see if we can find out anything about it. So, I think the village is down there. We were at Wookie Hole itself, uh, sitting outside the uh, caves place. And uh, we just wanted to say a massive thank you to Kimberly over in the States. Uh, she sent us a lovely super thanks and uh, told Chancellor to take us out for uh, lunch, but that's about as far <laughs> as we got. <laughs> two, two coffees and a packet of mini cheddars, but that's all there is here. So, so thank you, Kimberly. 
Thank you. That is a, yeah, a really nice, nice gesture. Thank you so much. Anyway, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to, we're not going into caves because not us, too tacky. All right, we're going to have a walk around the village and see if we can find where my dad was stationed because uh, it was somewhere here in this vicinity. And just have a look, give Chance a little walk. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Thanks again, Kimberly. Thank you. That's not my dad. Yeah, so this is the place. This is where he was stationed. Oh, it's hot here, isn't it? This is where he was stationed during World War II. This is the place where he dropped the searchlight <laughs> and it fell off the back of the truck. Yeah, so he must have been billeted actually either. I'm not sure if they billeted in the caves. No one was billeted in the caves, no. So he must have been billeted in the actual town itself. In a village, rather, yeah, town. There was a prisoner of war camp as well, wasn't there? Right, so, yeah, on the Wookie Old Road. Oh. Yeah. Oh, right. So, yeah, there used to be a, an Italian prisoner of war camp here. So, anyway, I've taken up enough of these good people's time. Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate that. There, there are also some areas that are duck and the way you have to duck as well. So, we didn't pay to come in, so they very kindly let me just film that bit. So that was really good. So, all right, now we're going to go for a walk around the village. My dad would have been in there during the war. Having a quick drink. Half a bit of shandy, no doubt. Plenty of van parking. Interesting, thanks to the guys for letting me film the entrance. Uh, in case some of you guys are a bit disappointed we didn't go in the caves, two reasons. One, it was uh, 22 quid a head. Plus we got the dog. Um, not gonna leave him in the car in this kind of heat. And to be honest with you, it's so over commercialised now with tacky, yeah, well, like with boots, you know. with um, uh, neon lights and all the rest of it. It's not an authentic experience whatsoever. So, but in case you are disappointed, here is some pictures off the internet of what you can expect. <laughs> <laughs> We've come down to Wells in Somerset. That is the Church of St Cuthbert and we've only got an hour in the car because the car park won't take the card. Oh, St Cuthbert is beautiful. Just wanted to show you these dinky toys. That tank one, 75 quid. I had that old police mini. I had that police mini. So yeah, we've come down to Wells and we're going to have a do the usual tourist scene, have a look at the cathedral, uh, see all the different bits. There's quite a few people about. We bought Chancer with us, which is, yeah, an experience. <laughs> it's a good name for bakers, or not a good name. There's a ton of charity shops down here, which is pleasing us. <laughs> right. Oh, and there's the cathedral in the distance.
18 years old, sitting in South East London on a rainy, miserable night when suddenly the phone rings at about two o'clock in the morning. There's a boiler needs fixing. Now, I was the uh, man on call out that night and it was my first call out on my own. And I was told to report to this place, well, more importantly, to the School of Music, which is inside this building. So I drove down all the way from South East London, down to here. Uh, I think I arrived here at half past five in the morning. They let me in and we began the big strip down of the boiler in here all on my own. And uh, this was 30, no, nearly 40 years ago. And uh, this is the first time I've been back since because uh, it was quite a big moment for me. It was my first, first job on my own, being trusted to build the boiler and uh, to, to, yeah, just be, be part of the company, if you like. I uh, drove down here in my old Escort Mark II van <laughs> with all my tie rods and everything to pull the boiler together. It was a uh, Potterton Avon boiler. So it was quite quite small for a commercial boiler. And uh, yeah, I was here for the whole day, but it was in the School of Music, which I do believe is somewhere that way. And it's the first time I've been back, back since. Uh, this one was a, was a happy moment for me. So I think we're going to take you inside the cathedral now and we can see what's uh, going on. believe that that is part of the school in there. I'm not absolutely certain. What a place though. It's gorgeous.
It's incredible, made out of cardboard. Well, we better get in and work out what we're going to do, don't we? We made it back. Just a tad wet. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was an enjoyable couple of hours. Walking around the lovely town of, uh, sorry. Walking around the lovely city of Wells. Wells being the smallest city in England. I enjoyed it. Uh, Lorna didn't come in the cathedral. Could have done. Could have done with a dog, but. I don't really want to. No. Just move that back a bit, so. It was good. Some amazing stained glass windows, as you will see. And uh, we're going to see you back at the van because I don't think we're going to be able to do anything else today. The weather forecast was once it started raining, it was not going to stop. So, back to wet Somerset and Templewell's farm. Well, oh, that turned into a f that turned into a filthy day, didn't it? Yes, so. <laughs> a little bit wet. Yes. I'm glad we're back. I think Chance is glad we're back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, we, we were, we've we've uh, in between the rain, we've managed to get out and do a couple of things this week. So yeah, we've been we, to Cheddar, we've Cheddar yeah. Board, we've been to Wells today, and Lorna, Lorna's had more walks than me this week. <laughs> quite a few all around this area and stuff with Chance in the mornings. Yeah. And uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to leave this one here. And because uh, we're actually here for a, a, as long as we want at the moment, uh, within the month, within the month, so uh, we'll decide where we're, what we're going to do uh, a bit later on and stuff. But while it's weather like this, I think really we should just stay put and ride it out. Yeah. So. Yeah. Let's improve next week. Sarah. Thank you for watching. If you are new here and you do fancy watching some more of our our, our uh, exploits, then uh, why not give it a little click on the. Uh, subscription button anyway we'll leave that up to you uh see you in the next one bye bye, bye for now